Give me the secret formula or I'll destroy the Krusty Krab! Ah, you and what army, bug? <laughs> what army? What army? Look around you, crabs! You planted grass? Grass? <laughs> In 2021, the Marvel What If Season 1 came out, and one of the episodes was on Marvel Zombies. Hasbro made their fair share of action figures for the series, but nothing compared to this zombie Captain America action figure. They did make Iron Man and Scarlet Witch zombies, but both of those figures were kind of lacking because there were reuses with new heads and weren't really that impressive to me. They could have so easily done the same with this Captain America with the amount of MCU figures they've made of the character, but they reused practically nothing to create such an amazing new action figure. The choice and articulation on this figure is something so unnoticeable yet so effective. What I mean by this is when Hasbro would make their MCU Captain Americas, they would always use an ab crunch, even in the new releases. But for this one, they went with a diaphragm joint which just adds to the posing possibilities for the zombie vibe. Like I said, they could have reused any of these Captain America molds but decided on a whole new one to help perfect the look from the show. Speaking of the zombie vibe, the attention to detail Hasbro put on this figure is insane. The sculpting done to the chunks missing was something Hasbro absolutely could have put minimal effort in. They decided to sculpt and paint the details in the missing flesh and even include bones inside all around the figure such as the legs and the exposed ribcage portion. I don't know if this was intentional or not but they also had a glossy red for the flesh part and the blood splatters seen all around which just adds so much. The head sculpt here is so expressive, perfect for really any pose considering it's a zombie. They aren't really meant to have emotions other than be hungry I guess. The strap hanging from his helmet is such a nice touch along with the rest of the hanging pieces of clothing seen around the figure. They even decided to take a chunk out of the strap on the back. Now I know I did just praise the flesh paint but in terms of the suit detail and all I think it's kind of lacking there. They did kind of dirty the suit up like in the white portions they made it yellow I will give them that but honestly I think the lack of paint is due to the style of the animated series. So in that regard Hasbro nailed it but I think it would be really cool to see a live action theme figure of this something like the Disney Park Captain America actor they have that'd be sick as a figure even with this mold a youtuber named star varu did a repaint of this figure with a realism take like i just said and he did an awesome job in my opinion i would not be mad if hasbro just re-released this with a paint job closer to what they did but yeah there's so much hasbro did not need to do with this figure but they did it anyway and it came out so cool like i said they could have reused any old cap mold and put some holes in a different arm kind of like the super low effort spider verse 2 pack they did before before they realized what a giant movie it would become but i'm glad they made this one and put so much detail into it. I wish the Iron Man and Scarlet Witch had more to them, but that's really the fault of the show since their designs were closer to their original look. But I'm just glad we have this Captain America one. I just wanted to talk about this figure in the spirit of Halloween and remind you guys what a great job they did on this figure because I feel like it didn't get much love. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video.